Hello everyone. Happy New Year to all of you. Today's video is mainly for graduates, okay, and as well as for undergraduates who are preparing for step one. Now, being a graduate is slightly tougher to prepare for step one, okay, because I know you have a lot of difficulties to face. See, I know a lot of graduates, okay. Some of some of them have left work to prepare for step step one, okay. Some of you are working along with preparing for step one. Some of you are having children. Some of you have left your children to prepare for step one, okay. Uh, some of you are having family pressures to get married and some of you are bothered by your old year of graduation okay and i i i know a lady from usml step one preparation forum who was pregnant and still she managed to give step one okay salute to her salute to actually all all the graduates and undergraduates who are, who are following their passion so today's video is mainly for those people okay who are stuck at one place okay who are not getting any progress in their step one preparation see guys that's first thing is that's absolutely normal okay don't get frustrated by it now how to actually move on and get a good score see first thing is to take a fresh start okay take a fresh start with a firm determination and a new plan okay have a firm determination take a fresh start forget about your past okay don't feel guilty for this that you didn't finish everything on time or or anything don't don't worry about the past okay and also don't worry about your year of graduation step one score is much more important than year of graduation that's what i know okay so don't worry about year of graduation first focus on higher step one score okay that's the main thing so take your time and then move on so take a fresh start and make a new plan okay now see i have a small plan for you okay i have prepared a 10 hour, 10 hour plan for you see i have divided the 10 hours into four sessions the first session will be of three hours then next will be again for three hours then third session will be of two hours and the last session will be again of two hours now after every session take a break of 10 to 15 minutes okay and reward yourself with, with anything like a chocolate or whatever you 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 like I, I preferably watch a YouTube video after every session. So whatever, whatever you like. So reward yourself after every session. Now, the fourth session, that is the last session, will be a light, slightly different from the first three sessions. See, in last session, you will be tired after studying for eight hours. So what you should do in those last two hours? Instead of reading from books or watching videos, try to discuss everything on Facebook or WhatsApp, okay? Try to discuss in the last two hours that that will help or or if you have a study partner then try to discuss with your study partner in the last two hours that will be helpful and that will that will help you to means that will not make you bore okay so try to do that in the last two hours now also keep five hours a week for enjoyment okay those are just your your hours because this is a long and stressful journey okay so try to keep just five hours a week for your enjoyment okay that's fine now some of you might be reading at home okay so instead of reading at home try to find a library nearby okay and if you don't have a library nearby then make sure no one enters frequently in your room and does, doesn't break your concentration so that's one thing and see i already mentioned in one of my video and again i am saying that if you have given 100 percent okay if you have given 100 percent for your preparation then embrace the result okay if you have given your 100% then don't worry if you fail or you get a 270 except what whatever it is you you already have given everything you, you have sacrificed everything okay for for your step and preparation then don't feel guilty for your result okay whatever you have achieved you should be happy either it's failure or it's 270 or even higher who knows okay so lastly one thing have a burning desire to get your desired score okay if you will have a burning desire you will surely be unstoppable okay if you will have a burning desire you will surely be unstoppable there is no problem which can stop you from achieving your goal so this is the secret formula for every person who have achieved little or more success in their field okay so good luck guys for your preparation okay and happy studying